Hello friends out in YouTube land, it's Asenva here, and I just wanted to kind of shoot a random video because I want to try to get more, even if it's like a non-edited video, I just wanted to start like trying to push out more stuff um, besides my Deli Talk Tuesdays, but I just kind of wanted to do like a random ramblings video and also get into some other stuff here, um, but first and foremost, uh, if you aren't already following, if you don't already know, um, I do have a Instagram and I have a Facebook page, which can be found here on the top. Um, and then I have my website still that's up, that's bjdlife.com, that has more like informative articles and just information about the BJD hobby. I have my Etsy shop, which is a great place to visit if you're looking for you know, right now is Christmas season. You're looking for something for a fellow BJD collector. If you want to treat yourself, uh, you can get some cool BJD merch there, like shirts and cups and bags and all that jazz. Uh, and then, of course, my Amazon shop recommendations um, is a big one, too. Uh, I also kind of wanted to touch base on my newsletter because uh, that has been going quite well. I, I enjoy doing it. I haven't been, like... At first I started doing it like every Saturday and then in the back of my mind at first like when I first told my husband about this I was like you know what I want to do a newsletter for BJD's um, I think I will be able to do it easier than writing like full like 5,000 6,000 word like articles like full-blown articles um, so if I could just um, do the uh, newsletter, you know, that'll give me a fun way to continue writing about BJDs and, and having fun and doing all that good stuff. Um, and at first I was like, I'll do it once a month. That's originally what I thought. I was going to do it once a month. And then things just started rolling and I was spitting it out like once a week. I was doing them on Saturdays. And then now I'm kind of getting to a point where I'm like, <sighs> maybe... <laughs> Maybe I need to take a step back and be like, maybe I should do it just like once a month because it's really, it was getting really hard to um, think of things like to write about. Like I had some, I have some suggestions of what to write about, but they'll take time to like research and figure out. I can't just like spit it out. Like I have to kind of do some stuff behind it. That and I'm still looking for people to feature. Um, for like, because I normally do like at the end, like a artist highlight, and that takes time too, unless people like reach out to me, which it's been kind of like the opposite. I've been having to go to different artists and stuff and reach out to them um, to ask them if it's okay, like to put them in my article newsletter. Sorry, not article. Uh, and it's fun though, like it's been really fun talking to other people and stuff in the hobby again, and like it, it really kind of like keeps me active in it like I really enjoy doing it because it's like something I get to do that's really fun um but yeah I think I'm gonna have to like step back a little maybe and just do once a month because it's really hard to upkeep um every week and I know for like these past three or four weeks I definitely have not been on time like for Saturdays which is what the time was what I was planning it for um, just, you know, life and stuff gets in the way and I just can't do anything about it. So that's, uh, that's what happens there. Um, but other than that, uh, I'm still having like a whole bunch of fun doing it. It's really cool to kind of research different things and not have the, um, pressure of having to make sure it's like a really lengthy, informative piece. So... Yeah, if you haven't checked out my newsletter, you can find a link to it on my BJD Life website. Um, I honestly, I'll link it in the info bar down below, but I really honestly don't know the cute tag for it right off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, it's through Beehive, I think. So yeah, but hopefully you've been enjoying it um, as much as I've um, enjoyed writing it as well. So yeah, so please feel free to check that out. Uh, Next on my little docket there thingy, my little notes sheet sheet here. <laughs> I have convention. Uh, Dollcon Dallas is right around the corner. I'm so excited. It's um, in February. And I have been like really trying to reflect on what I want to do because all my 
inventory is still there. Like I still have stuff like buttons and stickers and things like that, but I wanted to do something new for the convention. So I'm trying to work on a couple of different new things. So that way, if you come to visit my booth, um, you'll get to have the option of seeing a couple more things that you can take home. Uh, but a lot of my stuff, if you didn't already know, I make a lot of um, BJD like owner merch stuff. So I don't know if you've checked out my Etsy or not, but you can get really cool stuff like um, pens and I I sold, I sold them there at the convention and stuff and um, I don't know, they were just like something fun that I came up with that I just really wanted to, to make and like do. Um, just because I thought it would be fun to have like BJD owner merch and stuff. So I've like a whole bunch of like little designs and stuff that you can check out. Um, but yeah, I wanted to do something else besides the buttons, the stickers, and the prints. So I'm thinking of some other things I would like to make and I'm probably gonna be working on that here during my Christmas break. And hopefully have that out for you all um, for purchase, so. All things hopefully will work well. I like that how um, as years have gone by, it's never failed that like when I do a video and I like sit down to do a video, my cat always comes. I think it's just like a BJD owner thing. Yeah, she found like a twisty tie. I don't even know where she got this twisty tie. Anyway, that's totally random. Uh, so yes, Dalcon Dallas, that's happening. Please come see us. I'm really excited. You, I think you can still buy tickets, I think, so. Um, I'm going to be running some panels there too. I'll be doing uh, the game show again. Um, I'll be doing a new panel about mechanical ball jointed dolls because that's become like a really big thing now in the hobby. So I'll try my best to get um, some really good information on that. And uh, I think I'm doing like a 101 panel maybe. I don't remember if I am or not. I think maybe. Uh, but I'll be doing a couple of panels and stuff, so you'll see me around if you're um, planning on going to the convention. Um, I will be there doing all that fun stuff. So, um, without further ado, I'm going to just kind of, I guess, dip into some of my Q&A, because that's like my next thing I have there is Q&A, um, with just some random, like, updated things, I guess. Like, I'm honestly, like, just so surprised that my YouTube channel is still slowly but surely growing because <laughs> I feel like I don't do much on it anymore. Like I used to be like really good at spitting out videos and stuff like that, but I feel like I've gotten, you know, with my career and where I am in life, it's like really hard to like be as consistent as I was back then. Um, so I'm honestly just always touched whenever I even get like comments on my videos because I'm like, oh dang. Like, someone actually watched some stuff. <laughs> but um, I had a question. It was actually a really interesting one on um, one of my videos. And it was from Kiki1253. And it was on my Face Up for Beginners BJD video. And I never really thought about it. And they had asked, I don't know if it's on this, yeah, it is this one. So he's like, you know, I wanted to ask you a question. So I plan on getting two BJD dolls and two heads, and I'm getting them blank with no makeup and deciding I want to do light pink and um, lips and eyelashes, but not drawn on. But then sh they had mentioned they wanted to do boy acne. And I've never, I don't think I've seen anybody do like acne on a doll before and so they had asked me like what kind of advice I could give like how you could make acne on a doll and that's such an interesting thing because I think a lot of people you know I mean that's the thing about this hobby right is that like people can make whatever character they want like there's so many different stories that people have or real life things they base their dolls off of you know that they all look different and they make their own characters for however they make them you know and so when this person asked me about how to make acne, I was like, I've never done that before. Like I, so I was like trying to think like, what could you do? And honestly, uh, Kiki, just to let you know, I think I, I did respond to you. So I don't know if you responded back to me or not, 
But I guess for anyone else that's wondering, one of the greatest things that you can use for texture, and of course I wouldn't have it here right next to me, is, oh, it's all the way over there, is Elmer's glue, just like white Elmer's glue, like school glue, like you used in school, like the Elmer bottle of glue. Um, you can use that for so many different things. It's great because it's safe on resin. It will literally just you can literally just flick it off like the surface like if i were to put glue on top of this head you could literally just poop like just move your nail across it and it'll pop off um it doesn't leave any residue or anything like that onto your doll um, now i will say that it will dry flat so you might need to add layers so if you're thinking about like acne or texture on the face a lot of people do use the elmer's glue as like for scars and stuff um, to do like scarring, you have to layer it on. So you have to basically do like one layer, let it dry, add another layer, add another, just build on that initial layer. Um, so if you were looking to do acne on a doll, I would imagine that you could either get like a brush and um, put the glue like in a shallow dish and kind of like just dot it on and that way when that layer dries, now you have like a bumpy base to work off of. And then from that point, depending on like, I guess what the acne looks like, um, if you're choosing to do like a darker, a darker like red or more pink or whatever, you would just kind of color it on at that point. You could use watercolor pencils, you could use um, chalk pastels and kind of color it the way you think you, sh you would, you know, want to represent your acne to look like and voila you know say seal it in after that when you're done um with like a sealant and then that's it so i would love to see that though i wonder like how that would turn out but i don't think i've seen anybody do i mean maybe they have i just haven't seen it people tend to do like scars and like freckles and things like that but i don't think i've seen anyone ever do acne before so that's interesting. I really like that. This is a very unique um, thing to put, like, to put on your doll. So I hope that helps, uh, Kiki, if you were wondering about that, how to do that. So, uh, so yeah. Um, but other than that, like, I've been trying to kind of jump in and, like, respond back to people's comments and stuff, like, on my videos. Um... And, you know, just kind of, I feel like I'm just kind of like developed into lurking. So <laughs> I kind of just like look around and stuff and, and do what, whatever I can do at the time. Um, I will give a shout out to my moderators on BJD Addicts. I'm, I still have that going, um, which is amazing because I literally, that group is so like big now. <laughs> like I didn't. I didn't even think it was ever going to get to this point. Like, I can still remember when I first started it. Like, I don't know when this was. When did this start? Like, in 2019 or something. I don't know. And now it's got, like, 17,000 members, and it's really active. A lot of people are always on it. Um, and I've gone through several moderators. Um, but shout out to my moderators. They're so fantastic. Like, I don't think... I would be able to <laughs> manage it at all without them. So I'm really grateful for them um, that I have. And I'm grateful for anyone who has ever been a moderator um, for our groups because we not only run the main chat group, we run the um, sales group, the want to buy, and then the alert page as well. So it's a total of four groups technically. Um, and we all kind of just kind of keep an eye on it and make sure it doesn't get too crazy. But yeah, it's, yeah, it's still there. So, <laughs> so if you're looking to join an online group, uh, and if you're still a Facebook user like I am, uh, you can definitely, uh, find us there. Uh, you just look up BJD Addicts. I think, I don't know if I have it in my description bar, description bar down below or not, but that's, uh, what that is. So yeah. Um, other than that, I'm still doing my dolly talk Tuesdays uh, you can catch me on Tuesday which is this little icon down here um, and I just will pick a random thing to talk about I guess and then like I just stream for like an hour 
So I'm thinking that my next, like, big stream I would like to do is to restring more of my dolls, but ordering anything on, a, on Amazon right now is insane. You're not going to get it until, like, almost near Christmas. And I wanted to do it – I wanted to restring my dolls tomorrow, honestly, but I don't think I can get the string in time. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much – Pretty much yes, yeah. Catch me on Tuesdays. Oh, sorry. It's at I was doing it nine p.m. Central Time, but that was way too late for me, especially since I'm back into teaching and stuff. Um, eight p.m. Central Time is when I stream now. So from eight to nine p.m. Central Time um, during that hour, that's when I stream. So you can come in. It's really nice. A lot of people, honestly, just like treat it like a chat room, and people just you know have a good time. So I think it's great and it's fun another great way for me to kind of just have fun with the hobby with what I can do right now and yeah that's it I think that's I think that's really it so I hope you enjoyed this random ramblings video um I definitely miss making videos and making them edited and fun and silly and stuff but I'm gonna try to just throw out videos whenever I get a chance um besides just the Dolly Talk Tuesdays. And if, even if it has to just be here on a web camera and not like something super duper fancy, but yeah. Hope you guys have a Dolly-tastic day. Stay safe, happy holidays, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, bye.